Joining us with reaction is Pennsylvania Congressman Fred Keller. Good morning. Good to see you, Congressman. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Gillian. How are you doing today? Oh, good. Thank you. What is your reaction to what you're seeing play out on our streets? Yeah, you know, it's really uh, sad that, that people feel they need to destroy the American flag, the symbol that stands for so much good, uh, you know, not, not just around our nation, but around the world. Whenever anybody's been in trouble, uh, you know, our soldiers showed up fighting behind that flag, uh, you know, and it's uh, under that flag we freed Europe in World War II. We've done so much good. And uh, for people to, to be destroying uh, the symbol of our nation and, and, and uh, the fact that it stands for freedom uh, really is disappointing. Yeah. Congressman, here's what the president is saying about the flag burning. He writes, it is a shame that Congress does not do something about the low lives that burn the American flag. It should be stopped. And now, but Congressman, critics are going to say that flag burning is protected under the Constitution, a protected form of speech. How do you respond? Well, again, if people feel that way, I, I just can't wrap my mind around how people could feel that our flag doesn't represent all the good that has happened, you know, since since the beginning of our nation. And, uh, you know, certainly uh, we haven't done everything perfectly in America, but we've done, done a heck of a lot more right than than than, than we have wrong. And, and for people just to be destroying such a such a great symbol of freedom for everyone is, is disappointing. Yeah. Let's talk about this for a minute. The Senate is expected to vote on the GOP's Justice Act today. Let's go ahead and take a listen to what some Democrats have to say on this. We plead with Leader McConnell, don't score political points. What do we see Mitch McConnell and the Republicans doing? Setting up a process that they know will fail. The majority leader would have us play political games with the hopes, the dreams, and the demands of the American people. Are we going to find something that's bipartisan? Well, uh, you know, looking at what's happening in the House, and, you know, and I know the vote's coming up in the, in the Senate today, and it'll, we'll be taking up uh, the, the Speaker's bill uh, later this week. But, you know, if, if really they're talking about political points, uh, if, if the Speaker wanted to, wanted to make sure we get it right, the bill wouldn't have been written in secret. It would have been done. We'd be in Washington and would have been in Washington rather than in, in our living rooms. Uh, Congress is supposed to meet in Congress, uh, not not in our living rooms. We'd be down in Washington, D.C., doing the work of the people and so, so that it would be open for everybody to see. And uh, really, so, uh, you know, talking about scoring political points, uh, I, I think the majority leader, or excuse me, the minority leader in the Senate and the speaker have you know shouldn't talk about scoring political points because they really want to get to the bottom of this, that, that they'd be working together uh, with both sides of the aisle to see what we can do and it's just really disappointing uh, I, you know they want to talk about political points they've been doing that for, for I don't know how long when they talk about the Heroes Act in the House uh, which was written in secret and all the things that uh, you know Chairman Schiff and, and the speaker and the Democrats have been trying to score points on for the last three and a half years. All right, Congressman Fred Keller, thank you very much for your time and your insight. We appreciate thank it. Thank you.